Well, greetings, Series 4 test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. I'll be putting this in the Series 4 playlist. If you are uh, looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan QBank. I will help you with any uh, questions you have, so it doesn't have to be Kaplan. Just easier if it is Kaplan QBank because you can give me the QID number and I can bring it up like I've done here for this explication request. Uh, for that free commercial, Guru10 discount code can get you the Kaplan QBank. I don't know what the Series 4 QBank comes in with the discount code. That and the quick sheets I'd highly recommend. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. So here we go with this one. Now, uh, I would warn you, I'll put this in the 9 playlist too. I'd warn you Series 4s and Series 9s, you know, ratio rights aren't going to be make or break. I mean, the main thing here to recognize is there's no such thing as being partially naked. So I got, you know, two naked calls here, one covered call. So, you know, that's the main kind of thing as a supervisor you want to recognize. But that being said, when you get a sophisticated strategy, what you want to do is make your tea to track money in and out. Now, usually I recommend as in the process that you actually use a, a point per share basis. But when you got some of this more advanced stuff, you, uh, you just, it doesn't lend itself where the price per, pair, per share. So what I'm going to do is track the money total, right? Now, break even, remember, is the same dollars out as dollars in. So I'm out for the stock, 58.50. Uh, I brought in uh, 300 in total for those calls, but one of those calls is covered. So I'm going to put that there just to remind myself I have one covered call. There is the stock. I have two uncovered calls, so that's 200. And so now I'm ready for my first question, which is what is my first break even? So I need a number that if I plug it in there would make the columns balance. So let me just uh, try that first one. If uh, I say the stock is 5550, 5550, indeed that would make the columns balance. So I have proven that indeed that is one of the break evens. Now you could just memorize I'm not a big fan of memorizing because the more things you memorize, or if you go down that road, I should say, the more things you're going to have to memorize. I'm a big fan if you can just get your T, you know, contract specifications. I think that's a better way to proceed. Now, that's helpful because now that means I have one of the break evens. So at this point, I could shop my answer set and I could say, okay, I need Roman numeral one. And I don't really care for this one because uh, there is no multiples of multiples on the FINRA exams. However, uh, that being said, you know, you still would be required perhaps to come with this break even. Now, the second break even, we have two break evens here. I got to say, hmm, you know, if I want, I could plug 59.50 in there. That doesn't make it work in terms of a break even. 61, I get called away at 60. So, you know, I could go through that. It looks like 62.50. Let's see what happens at 62.50. So at 62.50, I'm going to get called away at the on the 60 call. So that's going to be uh, six thousand dollars, and now I need a number that if I put it in there would make the columns balance because remember that's what break even is. So if we look at that, uh, we've got six thousand two hundred in, and so that means I have a little bit of room for these calls before they start blowing up on me. And so that's the way I would proceed. I'd say, okay, well, break even ultimately is the number that makes these columns balance. And so it looks like to make these columns, columns balance, 63, 100, I need a number here that if I plug it in, it's going to make the columns uh, balance. So it looks like what that's going to end up being is, uh, let's just put a question mark here. That means I got to be able to close these calls out for $450. And that would indeed uh, make the columns again uh, break even. So that means uh, at what point would that be true? Well, I would take the 450, divide by the two contracts, and that would be two and a quarter. And so that gives me my second break even, which is 62 and a quarter. I'm getting the 62 again uh, by saying, okay, well, if the stock is 62 and a quarter, I get called away on 100 shares. I close out the calls for the intrinsic value. And again, I could do this by exercise as well, but 
Uh, again, that makes the columns balance. And remember, that's what break even is. Same dollars out as dollars in, right? So boom. Um, now I have my second break even. So let's just review. Uh, customer buys 100 ABC at 58 and a half, writes three ABC January 60 calls at one. The break even points are. So, first thing I'm going to do is my setup. I paid uh, $58.50 for the stock, $5,850. Uh, I got $100. So I got a total of $300, but $100 is a covered call. $200 for the uncovered or naked calls. And so now I know break even the same dollars out as in. So if I plug in that first choice there, $55.50, you don't have to memorize that, by the way. As I mentioned, you could just take the total out of pocket and divide by the 100 shares. But you know, I think there's a better way to proceed. And then we said uh, that would be our first break even. And then we said, we'll play around here and say, okay, well, if the stock gets called away, that's 6,000. And so my second get break even is gonna be able to close out those calls and with a number that would make the columns break uh, be the same, break even the same dollars out as dollars in. So I say, okay, so I need to be able to close those calls out for four and a half, $450, there's two of them. So that's $225 or two and a quarter. And that would be when the stock is 62 and a half. So that's how we got our second break even there. And boom. So I hope that was helpful. Again, make the T. I would warn you both nines and I would warn you as uh, uh, fours that, uh, again, don't get too in the weeds on uh, ratio rights. I'll attach a little video I've made uh, for ratio rights and advanced uh, strategies like butterfly spreads. I'll put that in the video description. I'll pin it with a comment so it's there for you. Uh, by the way, you should have been able to reason your way through 5950 doesn't work because if you plug 5950 into the dollar inbox, it doesn't make the columns balance. There's no way to make that work. And you should have known 61 doesn't work because if you plug that in, it doesn't make, it doesn't uh, uh, break even, right? So you could have done process of elimination. What I'm suggesting is the other way to proceed here was to plug these two numbers in and uh, they don't work and then you'd be left with the results. So that's another way you could have proceeded. All right, so uh, remember, inch by inch, series nine and four is a cent, yard by yard, series four and nine is art, and I'll see you for the next explication. Bye-bye.